How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. So I came up with this video idea. I got it from somebody on my YouTube comments. Shout out to Froggy. He said his mail carrier misdelivers a lot. And I came up with quickly five ways to help your mail carrier deliver more accurately. Thought it would be a great video topic. Um, so to help your mail carrier deliver more accurately, the number one, the number one thing, put your name on the box. Let's say you, let's say you're in an apartment town, like it or a townhouse, like I live in. Put put you put the letter number and put your last name. Make it as easy as possible for the mail carrier not to misdeliver. Put make make sure you can take a piece of paper, you can tape it onto your mailbox or your cluster box or whatever. Put it where your mail is getting delivered. Make sure you put the the unit number or the you know if it's S or North or whatever. Put, make sure you put that on there and then the last name. Whoever is getting mail at that address, put it on there. If it's if your last name is Smith, that's the only person getting mail. Put Smith only. Do little things like that will help mail carriers deliver more accurately, and that definitely helps me because I do routes every day. I do routes that's not my regular route, so I don't know the names. So if it says the name on the box, that helps tremendously. Um, let's see. And number number two, uh, don't leave your pet outside. If you're like, oh, why didn't I get mail in three days? Maybe it's because you left your dog in the front lawn and you got a walking route or uh, why you haven't gotten your package in a few days. Maybe because you left your dog out. Uh, you know, we, we are taught to safety first. Mail carriers are taught safety first. And if that's a dog we don't know, especially a bigger dog, with little dogs, I, you know, I, I have a little dog. I know how they operate and stuff. And if they bite me, it's not a big deal. If it's like a German Shepherd, Pitbull, Rottweiler, like the big three or any... Any dog that could physically cause harm to you, we are told to stay safe and not deliver. Uh, if it's a package scan, animal animal interference. Um, yeah, just there was a dog on my hold down. I was on it for two years. They would leave the dog chained up in the front, right in front of their mailbox. And I would have to bring mail their mail back a lot of the time. And I'm like, can't you just move your mailbox or something? So uh, that's another way. Be aware of your pets and where they're at because uh, we are taught not to deliver in unsafe circumstances so be wary of that uh, let's see name on box don't leave pet outside number three uh, make sure your address is seen on your house so um, let's say you got a mounted box and uh, like you can't a lot of the time if I'm if I'm on a route I don't know, I don't know the numbers. Sometimes the numbers jump, sometimes the numbers don't go in order. There are certain addresses like that. And if the address is not properly lit up, I can't make a guess and just deliver it and then it's not the right address. If the numbers were going by six, then the next house it goes by three. I don't know that. So uh you know sometimes sometimes carriers probably make an educated guess and uh put it in there. But make sure your house has I, I saw this meme where it was like mailman porn and it was like the address was on the front door was on the mailbox on the garage that that helps tremendously so I don't have to second guess if I'm delivering the right mail so that helps out tremendously um, another thing too about the current resident thing if the if the mail says the last name that's not yours but it also says current resident it's your mail it's your mail you are the current resident of that of that home so uh we if, if you're the current resident if you don't want it throw it out it's yours but we got to deliver it because you are the current resident um uh, number four talk with the carrier so i've had people come up to me and say uh hey are you the new guy on the route because i've been getting mail that's not mine you know uh i've been getting the old mail and it should be forwarded because let's say let's say this route hasn't had a regular in a while and it's been just people bouncing uh, bouncing around on this route they're not going to know the names they're not going to know the forwards and things like that so just just uh track down your carrier and be like hey listen my mail's being misdelivered or i'm not getting my mail or something talk with your carrier and they could uh you know give you a better idea of the situation that that route is in or uh you know how uh or, or they could even put in a warning card for you say hey uh this person's had multiple misdeliveries make sure that 
it's this name and this name only and you know talking with the carrier could you know it will simplify you don't have to go down to the post office where the the postmaster and stuff and bother the supervisors talk to the carrier directly because that's the person who's delivering the mail and most of the time it's a carrier issue so uh you know talk with the carrier and make things a lot easier and clearer and less travel you don't have to go to the office i've had people on my on the routes that i do they'll tell me i went to the office they couldn't help me and i'm like yes talk to me directly i'm, I'm right here i we i deliver the mail oh i thought that was a forward or what whatever talk with the carrier to help out a lot and then uh the last thing not really uh help but a p.o box if 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 dealing with mail carriers is too much of a pain just set up a just set up a p.o box um you won't have to deal with uh mail carriers uh you would have to go to the post office and pick it up but uh you know you wouldn't have to deal with you know missed deliveries and things like that so but yeah i want a th thanks again froggy for that video for the video idea i appreciate it because this is also a big problem i have people people in my personal life who know i'm a mail carrier they always come to me with their questions hey why why is my mail coming eight o'clock at night this and that boom 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 uh you know, so uh, I wanted to make a video on how to help m help you guys, especially people who aren't carriers, to get get your mail carrier to deliver more accurately so you can get your right mail, get everything on time and things like that. Um, we deliver at 8 o'clock at night because it's probably that carrier's second round of the day and the regular's not there. So I'm, I'm constantly answering questions like that. But, uh, and... The, the the biggest a, a big one is talking with your mail carrier that's the that, that was one of the most big the biggest uh you know things you could do talk to them and uh you know i, n I never forget that if somebody comes and talks to me i make sure i remember I'll, I'll not forget somebody coming and talk to me and letting them know so uh but yeah i wanted to make that quick video help people out if you are a mail carrier i have thousands following me comment below other other ways that will help your mail carrier help civilians help their mail carrier deliver more accurately comment below so thank you all for watching i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day off i gotta go pick up my taxes and see how much uh see how much i owe um yeah not fun but i'm gonna enjoy after that i'm gonna get some food and relax so thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video